dear students this is our last lecture in the series of colloids the sixth lecture in the series of colloids that is surfactants in the last lecture we had seen about micelles and its properties how they are uh, changing its properties at a particular concentration called as uh, critical micelle concentration now we will see about the surfactants the term surfactant uh, refers to surface active reagents uh, surface uh, surface active agents these are the uh, chemicals which will be activating the surface and uh, and as they are activating the surface means they are interacting with both the uh, surfaces I, I, both uh, the organic uh, material as well as the water also they will be interacting hence they need to be soluble in both the uh, organic solvents as well as in the water also here uh, as we are doing its surface uh, activities uh, we need to increase it so they, they need to interact between the interfaces and as they need to interact between the interfaces so they have to be soluble in both the organic solvents as well as water or they need to be soluble in both the mediums the sur surfactants are usually organic compounds that are amphiphilic in the last lecture also we had seen about the uh, micelles uh, that uh, they are amphiphilic so uh, this amphiphilic means that is uh, which is having both the hydrophobic as well as hydrophilic groups are present in the same molecule surfactants are also amphiphilic that is they contain both the hydrophobic groups as tails and hydrophilic groups as heads so if we have uh, a surfactant something uh, like this where this tail part we call it as uh, which will be hydrophobic while this head part will be the hydrophilic so it will be interacting with polar solvents and this will be interacting with the non-polar uh, solvents through adsorption surfactants reduce the surface tension of water uh, via the uh, liquid gas interface that is uh, through adsorption the surfactants reduce the surface tension of water at the liquid uh, gas interface and helps them to spread and reduce the interfacial tension between oil and water at the liquid liquid interfaces that is they act both at the surface of the water if you are having this as a water field then the surfactants will be somewhat like this where the heads will be buried inside the water so that they will be interacting with water and at the top it will be interacting uh, the hydrophobic part will be interacting with the uh, air which is uh, hydrophobic uh, which is non-polar so it will be interacting with air while the hydrophilic part the head will be interacting with polar water over here the example for this can be detergents uh, we know the detergents are uh, long chain fatty acids uh, and that is salts of fatty acids so we can represent them uh, via this type of structure where head is uh, hydrophilic and tail part represents the hydrophobic part if they are present inside the water then uh, they can be applied over a fabric surface uh, for cleaning the fabric surface where uh, if the oil dirts are present on the fabric surface then these uh, surfactants or the detergent molecules uh, will be interacting with the oil in such a way that the hydrophobic tail part this hydrophobic tail part will be interacting with oil and will get immersed into the surface of the oil while the hydrophilic part or the head part will be in, uh, remaining in the dispersion medium that is in the water and it will interact favorably with the water in this way what happens that it covers the uh, detergent will cover all the surface area of the oil and thereby it will remove it from the fabric surface so fabric surface will be cleaned uh, or uh, get uh, devoid of the uh, oil uh, which was stuck on the, its surface by using this surfactants detergent molecules detergents work at a concentration above critical micellar concentration or critical micelle concentration in last lecture we had seen this cmc or critical micelle concentration is the one uh, the minimum concentration required for micelles formations here uh, this uh, oil uh, interacting with the detergent is also forming a micelles so this is our micelle that is being formed this micelle will be formed only when there is a uh, concentration a particular optimum concentration of detergent molecules will be present if the detergent molecules are less in number then this will not be forming and so there will not be cleaning purposes hence when we are uh, cleaning our clothes a minimum quantity of detergents is required for uh, 
cleaning purposes. If you add little lesser than the minimum quantity or lesser than the CMC, then it will not be able to clean the uh, fabrics that we are intending it to clean out. So detergents work at a concentration above CMC for this. Detergents uh, remain in a monomer, uh, monomeric form below the CMC and above the CMC only they will form the micelles. And so uh, when they are forming micelles, they will be able to clean the fabrics. Cla uh, surfactants can be classified into four different categories based on the hydrophilic groups, based on the nature of the hydrophilic group. If our uh, this is our surfactant, then based on the nature of this head, uh, we can classify them into four different categories. Uh, first as anionic where the hydrophilic head will be negatively charged. This can be carboxylate groups or sulfates or the sulfonates or phosphate groups which are having negative charge. The cationic uh, surfactants where the hydrophilic head is a positively charged. This can be ammonium salts. We can use it over here. Then uh, there are non-ionic uh, surfactants. This hydrophilic uh, head in this non-ionic surfactants will be polar but not fully charged. It will not have a full positive charge or a negative charge but it will be polar. This can be either oxides or alcohols or uh, thiols that those we can use it as non-ionic surfactants. Uh, the fourth category is amphoteric or uh, zwitter ionic surfactants. These are the molecules which have both the positive charge as well as negative charges present on it. And the charge will depend on the pH of the solution, pH of the dispersion medium in which uh, this uh, amphoteric, zwitter, uh, amphoteric surfactants are being used over here. Uh, uh, decrease of pH will lead to positive charge and increase of pH will lead to negative charge. At the isoelectric point, it will have a zero charge. So this can, the charge can be varied by the changes in the conditions of the pH of a dispersion medium. Let us see each of the types of uh, surfactants. The anionic surfactants, these are the most widely used surfactants as uh, they, have, they consist of carboxylates, sulfonates, sulfates as well as phosphates. All these are negatively charged functional groups. So they will be having negative charge on it. The carboxylates are uh, nothing but the alkali metal salts of fatty acids. And these are mainly used as soaps, both the sodium uh, sul uh, salts of fatty acids as well as potassium salts of fatty acids. Sodium salts of fatty acids are forming hard soaps. So they will be using for cleaning clothes while potassium salts of fatty acids are forming soft soaps. So they can be used for cleaning skin. So for bathing purposes, whatever soaps are being formed, those are all potassium salts of uh, fatty acids while for cleaning clothes, uh, whatever uh, soaps we are having it, those are sodium salts of the uh, fatty acids. Uh, sulfonates are effective in uh, acidic as well as basic mediums and uh, they are also soluble in organic solvents. This gives an advantage for sulfonates as they are sol uh, soluble both uh, in the organic solvent as well as in the uh, water and they are effective in acidic and basic conditions. So they are useful in dry cleaning of the clothes also. So henceforth whenever you give your clothes for dry cleaning, ask the person, laundry person, which chemical he is using for this. Sulfonates are the ones which are used for cleaning uh, or using uh, for dry cleaning our clothes. Sulfates are more hydrophilic than the sulfonates. So, uh, sulfates uh, having more hydrophilicity than the sulfonates and forms excellent foaming agents. And that is why they are used in uh, shampoo as well as other cosmetics. Our uh, shaving gels are there or uh, the shampoos uh, that we are using for cleaning our hairs. Those all contains the sulfates as our cleaning or uh, cleansing agents. Next is uh, cationic surfactants. Cationic surfactants have ability to adhere and modify the solid surfaces. So uh, they are used as corrosion inhibitors. Uh, they can form a layer over the uh, metal surfaces and uh, avoid the corrosion of the uh, metal surface. They can be used as fuel uh, and uh, lubricant, uh, lubricating oil additives as an additives in the lubricants as well as in the fuels. They can be used as uh, in the germicides as well as hair conditioners also. In textile industries, they are used as fabric softeners. So cationic surfactants, they will be used as fabric softeners. Uh, they will soften the fabrics. Uh, long chain quaternary ammonium salts are the examples for the uh, cationic uh, surfactants. Here, uh, 
uh, one of the uh, chain of the ammonium uh, group will be long chain while the others will be short and it will be uh, salt either the bromide salt or the chloride salts of uh, ammonium so this will be having a cationic uh, group present in it so this surfactants uh, will be cationic uh, surfactants the third one will be non ionic surfactants they are used in textile industries and uh, they have a low foaming tendency lower than what uh, we had it for uh, anionic surfactants as well as for the cationic surfactants so they will be forming low uh, less amount of foam present on it and uh, they are good dispersing agents so they can be used very easily for cleaning purposes they are more effective than sulfonates sulfonates we had just uh, seen in the uh, anionic that sulfonates are effective in both acidic as well as basic medium and they are used for dry cleaning purposes this uh, non ionic can also be used for uh, the same purposes uh, non ionic surfactants uh, precipitate uh, with increase in temperature at a particular temperature if we are increasing the temperature above that uh, level then uh, this non ionic surfactants will precipitate out this gives advantage for it also because at a lower temperature they can act as a uh, surfactant and when we want to remove that surfactant just we need to increase the temperature so that the surfactant will get precipitated out and we can easily filter the surfactants the temperature at which this precipitation occurs we call it as a cloud point of the surfactant the surfactants can be uh, either the uh, polyethylene oxides or the alkyl polyoxyethylenes where this uh, will be having a alcoholic group will be present at the end and we will have oxygens present in the in between so that uh, it will uh, give the polar or hydrophilic group as ethylene oxides and the other uh, the long chain alkyl group will be uh, present as a lipophilic group or a hydrophobic uh, group will be uh, giving it as a hydrophobicity will be uh, imparted into the non ionic surfactants the fourth one is amphoteric or zwitter ionic surfactants they impart softness to the textile material and uh, that is why they use uh, they are used in the processing of textile materials also and for other uh, purposes where we have uh, costly uh, textile material fabric materials are there to take care of them amphoteric or zwitter ionic surfactants can be used for them Uh, they are effective in presence of high concentration of electrolytes acids as well as alkalis also the other surfactants have different properties for acids and alkalis this can withstand the presence of alkalis as well as acids also and also the high concentration of electrolytes also can be withstand uh, by the amphoteric or zwitter ionic surfactants isse inka use jo hai wo काफी वाइड हो जाता है ज्यादा रेंज में ये यूज हो सकते हैं एम्फोटेरिक और जूटेराइनिक सरफेक्टेंस बिकॉज ये लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स में भी काम करते हैं और हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन में भी ये काम करते हैं और एसिडिक और अल्कली मीडियम्स लाइक एसिडिक और बेसिक मीडियम्स दोनों में ये काम आते हैं दे आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज एट लो पी एच हायर पी एच होगा तो प्रोटोनेशन होगा और इसीलिए लोअर पी एच होगा तो हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोटोन्स रहेगा और वो पॉजिटिवली चार्ज होगा and uh, at high ph they will be negatively charged uh, they are biocompatible also and so they are used in bio, uh, pharmaceuticals as well as cosmetics uh, surfactants generally hum uh, pharmaceuticals mein bahut hi kam use kiya jata hai ya food industries mein bhi bahut kam use hota hai because it has a marked toxicity uh, so uh, there are very few examples which are non toxic otherwise inki toxicity zyada hone ki wajah se inko hum फूड uh, इंडस्ट्री में या फिर फार्मास्यूटिकल्स में जनरली यूज नहीं करते हैं लेकिन एम्फोटेरिक या ज्यूटर आयनिक सरफेक्टेंट्स बायो कंपेटेबल होते हैं और ये हम यूज करते हैं फार्मास्यूटिकल्स में और कॉस्मेटिक्स में भी एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस कैन बी डोडेसाइल बिटेन वेयर इट इज हैविंग ए पॉजिटिवली चार्ज अमोनियम सॉल्ट एज वेल एज कार्बोक्सिलेट ग्रुप एज ए नेगेटिव चार्ज सो इट कैन बी एजुटर आयन एंड इट हैज ए लॉन्ग अल्किल चेन प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर व्हिच इंपार्ट्स द हाइड्रोफोबिक ग्रुप the ammonium or and carboxylate groups gives the hydrophilic uh, part of the uh, surfactant and the long alkyl chain gives the hydrophobic uh, group of it this is do desyl uh, betaine the applications of surfactants are wide and uh, various industries they are being used uh, some of them are as detergents in uh, food industry we can use it or uh, uh, and also in the pesticide formulations we are using this surfactants we will see one by one each of them 
the uh, surfactants as detergents uh, detergents are typically used to remove dirt from the clothes perfumes uh, as well as phosphors uh, which makes the clothes whiter and brighter uh, and as anti caking agents to prevent the uh, powder becoming large lumps in presence of moisture so uh, detergents mein uh, hame ye surfactants dalna hota hai kyunki sirf detergents agar aap daloge potassium ya सोडियम uh, सॉल्ट्स को हम अगर सिर्फ वहां पे करें और दूसरा अंदर में ये सरफैक्टेंट्स uh, हम अगर ज्यादा नहीं डालते हैं तो वहां पर उनका जो फोमिंग uh, एजेंट्स होता है या डर्ट uh, क्लीनिंग का जो प्रॉपर्टीज होती है वो नहीं आ पाती है सो so, डिटर्जेंट्स हमारे यहाँ पे या सरफैक्टेंट्स हमारे यहाँ पे क्लीनिंग uh, पर्पजेज में काम आते हैं फॉर क्लोथ्स एज वेल एज दे आर यूज इन द परफ्यूम्स एज वेल एज फॉर मेकिंग क्लोथ्स वाइटर एंड ब्राइटर ऑल्सो वी आर यूजिंग दिस Similarly, laurel sarcosinate. Uh, this is the structure for laurel sarcosinate. Uh, is a strong bactericide and is used in toothpaste uh, and also in dry shampoos for carpets. Uh, so, here, uh, in dry cleaning, also our work comes in, and in toothpaste, also this comes in as a bactericide. And our uh, mouth's odor, we use the odor to remove that odor. We use laurel sarcosinate. सो so, आज के बाद में अगर आप कोई भी टूथपेस्ट यूज करते हो तो उसमें इंग्रेडिएंट्स में जरूर देखना कि ये केमिकल वहां पे होता है या नहीं होता है पर्टिकुलरली देर आर मेनी कंपनीज व्हिच आर गिविंग एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स दैट उनका जो होता है वो माउथ फ्रेशनिंग होता है सो so, वहां पे ये लॉरेल सार्कोसिनेट वहां पे यूज किया जाता है देन अपार्ट फ्रॉम फैब्रिक क्लीनिंग डिटर्जेंट्स आर आल्सो यूज्ड इन मेटल क्लीनिंग डेयरी प्लांट्स एज वेल एज एग्रोकेमिकल इमल्शंस आल्सो वी आर यूजिंग detergents as uh, surfactants as the detergent then surfactants are also used in food industry but with a limited uh, use because of their potential toxicity surfactants ka uh, toxicity uh, kafi zyada hota hai iski wajah se bahut hi kam surfactants use kiye jate hain food industries mein but uh, they find wide variety of uses in uh, food industry they are mainly used as emulsifiers in food formulations and as a fat substituents as an emulsifier they are used as anti staling in the bakery products uh, bread ya pav wagaire mein hamare kaam mein aate hain then emulsification as in margarine creamy uh, salad dressing or uh, frozen desserts mein kaam mein aate hain foaming hamara cake ya ice cream mein foams banane ke liye kaam mein aata hai ya improved palatability chocolates ya ya fir icing on the cakes mein kaam mein aayega ye uh, modifying textures like bread or cake and uh, macaroni Uh, maybe a uh, as a macaroni they are used in the food industry solubilizing ke liye colors and flavors can be imparted uh, by this uh, surfactants wetting ke liye bhi kaam mein aate hain like uh, drink mixes mein hum surfactants use karte hain ya instant breakfasts mein hum surfactants use karte hain surfactants comprise of food additives such as thickeners sweeteners colors preservatives and antioxidants lecithin is added in the margarine to enhance the solubility of monoglycerides margarines are uh, mixtures of monoglycerides so in order to increase the solubility lecithin is used mayonnaise uh, mayonnaise cheese jo hamara hota hai wo generally hamara uh, yahan pe kaam mein aata hai uh, pizza wagaire mein hum uh, mayonnaise cheese ko hum use karte hain so uh, this mayonnaise uh, is an ऑयल इन वाटर इमल्शन सो ये भी एक सरफैक्टेंट होता है देन सॉर्बेट एंड मोनोस्टेरेट एंड पॉलीसॉर्बेट सिक्सटी आर एडेड टू स्टेबिलाईज फैट बाय फॉर्मिंग इमल्शन बिटवीन फैट एंड माउथ सेलाइवा सॉर्बेट एंड मोनोस्टेरेट और पॉलीसॉर्बेट सिक्सटी जो होते हैं ये हमारे फैट को स्टेबिलाईज करते हैं और जब भी हम मुंह में डालते हैं तो हमारे वो फैट्स माउथ के सलाइवा के साथ एक इमल्शन तैयार करने में मदद करता है सॉर्बेट एंड मोनोस्टेरेट एज वेल एज पॉलीसॉर्बेट सिक्सटी अगर ये नहीं रहेगा तो वो इमल्शन तैयार नहीं होता है सो उनका मिक्सिंग बराबर से नहीं होगा माउथ सलाइवा का फैट के साथ में और फिर उसका डाइजेशन प्रोसेस थोड़ा लॉन्गर हो जाता है लेकिन अगर हम सॉर्बेट एंड मोनोस्टेरेट या पॉलीसॉर्बेट सिक्सटी डालते हैं तो वो इमल्शन फटाफट बनता है और इसकी वजह से वहाँ पे डाइजेस्टिव प्रोसेस भी फास्ट हो जाता है then uh, glycerol esters are used in conditioning of food stuffs breads and dairy products these are the uses of surfactants in uh, sur food industry uh, there are uh, as we have seen there are wide varieties of uses of surfactants in food industry now we will see 
and the use of uh, surfactants in the uh, pesticide formulations. Colloids and uh, interface uh, science plays an important role in chemistry of sprayed products because pesticides we need to spray on the uh, plant uh, uh, leaves. We have to spray on the uh, plant leaves. So uh, here the spray science will be or uh, the sprayed products are being used over here. So the interface science plays an important role in uh, pesticides and colloids being an interfaces. Uh, so it will it plays an important role in chemistry of uh, sprayed products. Sprayed droplets forms a thin layer on the uh, leaf surface and enters leaf structure and kills the pest. Whenever the uh, pesticide is being sprayed over the leaves, uh, it forms a thin layer over the uh, leaf surface and then it uh, enters into the uh, leaves uh, through the uh, pores that are present on the leaf surface. So from that uh, it enters into the uh, leaf and from there it uh, kills the uh, pest. So, uh, organosilicane surfactants are very effective in uh, lowering the surface tension uh, for improved uh, leaf wetting and retention of uh, spray uh, droplets on leaves. यहाँ पे क्या होता है कि जैसे कि leaves के ऊपर में pesticides का uh, हम spray करते हैं तो uh, leaf के ऊपर में एक uh, thin layer बन जाती है और ये फिर अंदर में enter करता है. So, इसमें uh, surface tension अगर कम होगा तो स्प्रेडिंग फटाफट होती है स्प्रेडिंग वेरी इजीली वहां पे हो जाती है तो ऑर्गेनोसिलिकॉन्स एज वेल एज अदर सरफैक्टेंट्स आर यूज्ड फॉर लोवरिंग द सरफेस टेंशन ऑफ द लीफ ऑफ द लीफ एज वेल एज द ड्रॉपलेट्स सो यहां पे सरफेस टेंशन कम होगा तो इजीली स्प्रेड होगा लीफ के ऊपर में और स्प्रेड इजीली होगा तो उसके अंदर में एब्जॉर्प्शन भी फटाफट होगा एब्जॉर्प्शन इजी होगा और इजी होने की वजह से फिर उसका जो एक्शन है फॉर किलिंग पेस्ट कैन बी इजीली कैरीड आउट अदर एग्जांपल्स अदर देन ऑर्गेनोसिलिकॉन्स वी कैन यूज अल्किल पॉलीग्लाइकोसाइड्स दिस अल्किल पॉलीग्लाइकोसाइड्स और एपीजे एपीजी आल्सो डिस्प्ले एक्सीलेंट वेटिंग एंड सरफेस टेंशन रिडक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज सरफैक्टेंट्स आर यूज्ड इन पेस्टिसाइड्स आर इथॉक्सिलेटेड अल्कोहल्स अल्किल फिनॉल्स सॉर्बिटन अल्किल अमीन्स एटसेट्रा दीस कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर as a surfactants in pesticide formulations for reducing the surface tension as well as for wetting the surface. Wetting the surface means yaha pe spreading of the uh, spray on the uh, surface. So uh, these are the applications of surfactants in various fields. Uh, so uh, this is our last lecture uh, in colloids. Uh, so we have finished our uh, colloid chapter. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much.